This is the slowest thing in Minecraft. Yes, even slower than this absurd setup. You want to see how slow this is? I'll show you how slow this is. Let's start it up. 3, 2, 1, go. Actually, this thing's been moving this entire time. Not only that, it's been running at 100 times faster than normal. And no, this thing isn't just sitting in place. But to understand how this thing is moving so slowly, you need to first understand how we discovered this. It all started with a new change that came to the game, and that is Breeze will reflect any projectiles in the same direction that they came from. So during my Twitch live stream, we tested this and much more. When hitting it with the arrow, it will cause it to just bounce back in my direction. But then what happens if it gets shot from above? Obviously the arrow is going to go back upwards, but it tries, but then ends up just going back down again. And it just keeps bouncing off of the Breeze's head. We can look at this by pressing F3 plus B, which shows the hitbox of the arrow. Once it just gets kind of close to it, it just bounces back up and then the gravity just pulls it back down again. It not only looks really strange, but it also makes a weird ting noise every time it bounces. But there's other projectiles in the game, like the trident. Hitting it on the head, you can see it bounces upwards, but then it slowly gets pulled back down by gravity. It makes this crazy looking glitched out trident. And because it's constantly moving, similar to the arrow, it doesn't actually despawn since it never ends up inside of a block. Now since it's trying to go downwards, if you would move the breeze out of the way, it's just going to hit the ground. And the loyalty enchantment doesn't work because it never hit its target. Let's try throwing some more things at it. We can launch rockets at it with a crossbow. But the rocket does get deflected off of it. Even with a multi-shot, you can see the one of them goes backwards. Even with piercing 4 enchantment, it has no chance going through. Enderpearls try to bounce off of it, but it ends up just teleporting you just on the edge of it. And there's other things that will splash and break right away, like splash potions, eggs, and snowballs. Now fire charges are a bit strange, as they only normally light things on fire when they get hit by them. But since the breeze doesn't let it hit them, they can't catch on fire. Besides the small fire charge, there's also the big fireball, and when you launch one of these, you can see it doesn't do any damage, but it also doesn't get reflected at all. There's also wither skulls, and when those get pushed downwards, they will explode onto it. But it turns out when using real withers and gas, they will actually damage it. So you can't use a breeze as a shield for withers or gas, like it did here with a double wither. There's also the dragon's fireball. This needs to be pushed by a sticky piston. You can see it does hit onto the breeze and then does its dragon's breath damage. Eyes of Enders have no problem going right through them. Llamas also have a projectile with their spit, but it seems that the llama can't even hit the breeze. Now the fishing bobber isn't really a projectile, but it does bounce off the head for a short while before attaching either to the breeze or sometimes it goes right on through it and ends up on the boat. Although fishing rods seem to have got a real boost recently, you can launch them really high upwards, but they can stop the shulker bullet. But the strangest comes from a wind charge when you launch these at it, it'll reflect them back at you. But if you try to play ping ball with it by knocking it back at it again, all of a sudden it'll just get stuck, constantly trying to push itself into it. And since it has no gravity, it doesn't fall from the sky. At any point, you can just resend this one any direction you want to, but when using a dispenser, we don't have to play ping pong with it. You can see it does the same thing where it wants to hit it, but the breeze reflects it. But in this case, the wind charge just keeps trying to push that direction, and it's not actually being pulled down by gravity. But what happens if you have two breezes that ping pong a projectile between them? Well, most projectiles will fall out of the sky or only last for a short while. But since the wind charge doesn't have any gravity, if we would send one this direction and get out of the way, you can see it actually bounces off of the second breeze and heads over to here and then bounces again. But notice that every time it bounces, it gets slower and slower. It seems pretty slow right now. Now you can see it's even slower yet. So the closer we have the two breezes to each other, the wind charge will do more bouncing and therefore will slow down faster. So once it slows down a bit, you can just hop into one of these and move it by the next one. And then it'll be so close that they'll bounce much faster between them. And when there's two mobs in boat, it moves the second breeze even closer. Now there's even less distance between them. So we took this to the extreme by having two breezes that are really close together. Any closer to each other, the wind charge will go right through them rather than bouncing off of them. And if we speed up the game and take a look at this edge of the wind charge, once we line up our cursor here, you can see if we look really carefully, we can see that the wind charge will actually move. And now it's directly in line with our cursor. 
so it slowly jumps forward every so often. And because it's moving so slow, it waits longer and longer between moving forward. Even though I had the game running at 100 times normal, you can see it's just barely moving along. But exactly how slow is it going? We can use this command here to get information about the wind charge, such as where it's at and who threw it. But we can also get its motion. Motion is calculated by meters per second. A normal walk is around 3 meters per second. Walking is 4 meters per second. Or sprint jumping is 7. So how many meters per second is our little wind charge going at? Well, that's these numbers here. There's three numbers, first being the motion in the x direction, second being the y direction, and third being the z direction. Since our wind charge is going west and east, this is the x value. So the first set of digits is 8, so you might be thinking it's going 8 meters per second, but there is a little e at the very end with a negative 8. This is just a way to easily make a number that's really big smaller so you can actually see the whole thing. It's a number that has 5 different digits. We could just show this as being the number 4, and then put an e with a 4 after it to let people know that there is 4 more decimal places after the 4. So really big numbers will have a positive sign and a really big number after the E, or really small numbers will have a negative sign and also a bigger number. So this number is not 8, but instead we have to move this dot 8 more decimal places to the left. So the number would look like this. So it's not 1 meter per second, it's not even a tenth of a meter per second, or a hundredth, or thousandths, but is reaching the insanely slow speed of only moving a few nanometers per second. That's of course slower than a turtle, and even slower than you clicking the like button. Oh wait, did you click it yet? Even slower than this weird machine I made that, that transports fire and only moves forward when the fire spreads. And the wind charge can even become slower than a machine that depends on lightning strikes. Although it's not real fair to compare an RNG based machine compared to my consistently moving forward wind charge. And with the recent changes to wind charges now being able to go through non-solid blocks like this string we have here, we can actually detect when the wind charge goes inside of it as it will create an update in the string which the observer can read and then we can activate some redstone with it. Which also means you can make the slowest clock in Minecraft. Plus it doesn't have to take up very much room. But the only problem is it continues to get slower every time it bounces so what happens when we push it with a slime? But the sticky piston will speed it back up. Now you can time it such a way so you just bounce it back between a breeze and a sticky piston. So if you combine this with a water stream, which will speed it up a little bit after the breeze has slowed it down. And with it being bounced back with water, the speed is staying relatively the same. So you could make a consistent clock out of this. You could also combine this with two waterways. So once we send it through, it bounces off the second breeze and then goes back through the water and it will get slowed down by the second bounce by this breeze. Then once it touches this water again, it's going to start speeding up again. But then there is so much flowing water of the opposite direction, it will stop just before reaching the end and then it will get in this kind of roller coaster loop back and forth where it can act as a pendulum. The only downside is when the player shoots one of these off, he doesn't shoot them perfectly straight. So they could run into a wall. To fix this, you just have to remove the momentum of the wind charge using like the pistons. Then push it forward like a slime block or the player that is perfectly aligned. If you have any questions or other uses for this, let me know down below. Now check out more crazy glitches I found over the last 14 years, and if you're able to support me, I would really appreciate it as it takes a lot of time to test and show all this stuff. Otherwise, you can always share what I do with your favorite Minecrafter. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye